Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel. I do budgeting videos and I'm also on my path to first time home ownership. So if any of that does, <clears throat> excuse me, any of that interest you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you are subscribed, but you're not getting all my notifications. Okay, let's get into this. Hopefully this will be a quick video because we are closing out January. We definitely did not have a lot to do in the last week of January or to pay, I should say. So let's go ahead and fill in our actuals. Our actual was 573.89. We had 29.96 rolled over, nothing changed there. So we did have an actual six. 385. Let's go ahead and pull that up while we are waiting. Oh, that came up quick, y'all. So, so let's go and find where we were. So 573.89, and we had the 29.96 rollover. Then we did a few moves. So this was $100 came out from our sinking funds for our sinking, no, for our cash envelope. So that did happen. I went and got that from the ATM. And then $40 was sent to me by my cousin and then I sent it back and it was back and forth. He did send it back. He sent it back and I think I sent it back to his account. <laughs> and then here we are. Hurry your request. Okay, so I'm sorry, he sent me money, then I sent it back. That's that first transaction. Then we have our 1025, what is this? This is giving, we moved for $10. And then this is $25 for our, our humble home savings. So that also went through, $25 went through, $10 went through. We already put that $10 went through, so that's fine. $389 for our zero out savings challenge and $250 went to the house. So zero out savings challenge, challenge went as planned, $250 went as planned. Put that down. No, I don't, okay. okay. And let's keep scrolling. $3.20 came out for Insta Inc. and $127.86. I believe we had already filled that out. Correct. $320 was actual $320, $127.86. It was very nice because the car insurance went, went down from $150 something to $120 something. Then we have $5 here for sinking funds set up for withdrawal. What is that? Oh, these are my sinking funds. Girl, I was confused. Um, <laughs> Five, fifth, 10, 15, 20, 25, 45, 50. So all of these here are my automatic sinking funds for $50 that came out. So we can go ahead and mark them as coming out. And this no longer needs to be blue. Then we have $40 where my cousin sent it back to me. And then I moved it back to his savings account. So that's an in and out wash. Then I went to, oh, we didn't do it, you guys. So our buffer was $33.90. Unfortunately, we did not make it. <laughs> we did not do it, but I'm glad to say that I did not spend my buffer on frivolous things. I did not spend it on like candy or food or snacks or eating out or anything like that. No, clothing, none of that. I did not. What I did was I took the $30 out and I paid $20 the comforter that has been sitting in the dry cleaner for months, okay? And if you know, you know. And then $10 is still in my miscellaneous envelope, which will eventually just go into the house savings binder, okay? So I really don't feel bad about that. It was for something good. So either way, though, I need to put that, I took the $30 out. So it's our first random expense of the month. And that's $30. Leaving us with just three dollars and ninety cents. I'm sorry, three dollars and ninety nine cents. No, three dollars and ninety cents. Um, and then three dollars. Uh, we had interest paid of a penny, so we can actually add a penny to the rollover portion. So I'll make it a formula. It's going to be equals the twenty nine ninety six rollover plus zero of uh, one penny. And I'll add a note, Wait, zero one cents of interest. That's where we got that. Okay. And so we did, oh, I don't, I don't know why I put it here. It was 33, sorry, y'all, I'm messing up. This is 33.90 here. 
she left us with a zero base budget. Over here, we we actually spent thirty dollars. And this, I'm going to insert a note. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that was for the comforter from Dry Cleaner. And then also ten dollars is in the miscellaneous fund. It's still in my cash envelopes. And I'll do that when I do my cash stuffing, probably tomorrow or Wednesday. <clears throat> so that leaves us with $3.91, which is exactly what we have left, $3.91. Um, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and transfer that over to the house account because there's no point in it sitting there. Hopefully the check hits tomorrow and I won't have any issues. So I'm going to add... $3.91. We can get back to it. the girl. No, that's not it. $2.50 plus $3.91. <laughs> and now we should have a zero base budget. Yes, we do zero, zero, zero. And I can transfer here $3.91. One time, two time. The test. Okay, so we should be at zero. Hopefully, money hits tomorrow. We will not be at zero very long. Okay, that's telling me I'm getting my camera ready. Okay, so pretty much we're down to zero base budget. January was closed out. We did super well. Three out of four weeks. I did not touch my buffer at all. I'm very proud of myself. And for the third week where I had the buffer and I did touch it, it was for good reason. So I'm going to give myself an A, maybe not A plus, but an A for the January challenge, as well as look at my random expenses, you guys. These all here are usually random expenses. And usually there's a lot. So I did not randomly spend any money on anything, which is amazing, except for the one thing. And I'm super excited about that. But let's go ahead and update my house saving sheet for January. Check number four, close out. And that was $3.91. And that was 02-01-2021. And that means we should have 7,279.14 in that account. 7,270. Oh, wait a minute. We got more money. No, we got less money. What? Why? <laughs> wait, do we have more or less? 2,000. We have 7,280.85. We have more money. So that's because there is interest on that account that we did not add. So as of January 31st, there is $1.71. $1.71. So there's a January payment, January interest payment. And now we should match $1,280.85. Perfect. So we're good to go with where we're at. We're, we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. And then we can just, we'll do a different video where we go through how much we save for each savings challenge. But as far as January goes, January is closed out. We ended our, our January journey, our January um, challenge really, really well. We served a total of $81.89 on these three weeks where we did not touch the buffer. So almost $100. Yes, come through almost $100. Plus, really, it was $81.89 plus $3.91. So let's be very accurate. We actually saved $85.80 by not disturbing our buffer. So I'm very proud of that. Um, and then I think that it you guys i think that's it for this video not too long i don't think um i'll come back with another video going over my saving challenges and where we ended the end of the month 
All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you. Faith over fear this year. I hope you all come back and be a part of the Grateful Gang. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye.